Okay, guys, we're back with, these are very, they're very tricky, and you're not going to rob them of their sense of self-right. Nobody is. If you say, what about other dogs? She has a real problem if other dogs come up and start trying to goose her in the butt and stuff. Big problems. Uh, I don't really know how to exactly describe it. It's not as much hinky. It's just a very strong sense of personal space. Ah! And combined with no food drive and lack of tractability because, you know, if you said originally a great deal of environmental forces, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Hypersoft. It, it's the dog knows the drills by now. And you're trying to sync up with the dog, not suddenly just start commanding it. And she does like cheese. Anyway, Mark, I'm, I'm just going to send you a PayPal invoice. I can't figure out my... Somebody else sent me money on Apple Pay, and now because of that debit card breach thing or whatever, I guess I don't have Apple Pay anymore, so now this money is just... <laughs> I'm going to figure it out later today, but... Oh, hi, Mike. These are tricky. You know they are. My plan is... It doesn't have any... The dog doesn't have any food drive. Oh, hi, Sophia. Look at Scarlet. Anyway, but my job, again, if somebody came here, I, I'm saying, yeah, you want a drink? Go get a drink. Sure, there's drinks over there. Whatever you want. I'm not trying to say, listen, sit down. We have some rules here. Stay on this place. Don't move. Stay on this place. Don't move. That's what these people are doing. Their whole methodology is sit on this place and don't move. That goes against everything. When you put dogs in a kennel and they pace back and forth, it's because they have X amount of movement in them that's not probably going to exhaust itself until they die. I mean, they're, they're instinctually need to move around to survive. That's just how they are. You put them in behind a fence, they start going back and forth. Anyway, I got some good footage, but it's... The dog is not saying to us, it's saying to itself right now, I want to go down to the pond. Oh no, she still twirls and does all of it, but it's a very delicate, I'm just going to do a little bit, and then I'm going to take her for a walk, because I, I did a bunch to get some footage, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna, oh, hey, hey, get over here, hey, hey. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey. You know, the dog knows me, and I, you know, I basically at this point only have one verbal command, and that's the name to get it to move in my direction. If you said, well, let's just go swimming and stuff and chase rabbits and stuff, it's not a Labrador temperament. They're not, it's not going to play the affable card. It's not going to be biddable. Why would it be? <laughs> Mark got it from. I, I, I gotta get Mark to tell the story of how they got the dog. I forgot now, but it was something like he had to meet the people at a gas station because he would annoy their dogs. I was like, oh my god.
So I started with the dog coming to me. That's it. That's it. I started out a high net. I'm not saying, come here, come here, come here. You're the one that came over to me. You're the one that came and wanted to do stuff. So you're initiating it. That's what it believes, not me. Hey, I, I, the number of people that just go, hey, hey, come here, come here, to the dog. It's, it's honestly unbelievable. Come here, come here. Ay, ay, ay. If you said, well, if someone says that to me, if someone says that to me, I say, what do you want? What, what do you mean, come here? I'm, I'm fine over here. We have to understand they have a very strong sense of self-right. My body language is very introspective. I'm not going to start crushing. It's not saying what I wouldn't do for a head pat. So I have to make sure I'm not going to move directly towards it. I'm going to move a little bit lateral and see if it kind of moves in with me. If you said, what about your arms and swinging and screaming a bunch of commands? No, 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 no. It's reading my body English. It's reading my legs. And this is what all of y'all are doing wrong. If because I have to prepare for the fact that I'm going to be put in a straight jacket at some point. You've heard these people, crazy LOL. I've learned to train without my arms, so I'll be able to escape from the insane asylum with the remote that I've secreted away under my straight jacket and still be able to get online and train. <laughs> so it's, it doesn't need all that. It does not, it's not going to do it for an effing head pat. It's fine without a head pat. If I can move laterally and get it to move to me a little bit, then I'm saying, oh, oh ha, ha. So if you said it wasn't moving towards you, it doesn't matter. It was moving towards me. I now get it to move past me. A very, if you said, well, it's going to be a contest and we have to shave the most amount of time possible. Get the tree as fast as possible. Step off. That's the end. Tell them at the judges, the end of our exercise is the uh, treat. So not, we pet it for freaking 25 seconds. So I got to see if I can get to move back in my direction. Oh. <laughs> that itself receives a cheese. Just moving in my direction. If you said, what kind of cheese is this, Kelly? Uh, inexpensive American? Mm. No, Mark. No. <laughs> Imported from France. <laughs> so I need to get it moving in my... Which I manage to do. And even then I step off. Then I step off. That's... It's, it's going to be... It's very predictable what I'm going to do now. If you said, what am I saying? I think I'm out of cheese. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to go get more cheese. I got chicken. See if she'll eat that. <laughs> You said what is this inexpensive chicken no mark no it's not it's it's vegan fed it's vegan fed oh yeah no not her american cheese no 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 this dog costly gouda so i got it and i can turn this way boom 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 You're not going to fucking get it out here and start jerking it. You're not going to do that. It's the training, though, Sophia. This is a regular dog. Got these people at a gas station. Rednecks or something. Kind of. And, but Mark, he's such a sweetheart. I mean, he's just, oh, okay. I'll meet you at the gas station. Mm -hmm. And then he finds the very first video of Scarlett. And she's, it op as the scene opens, Scarlett's given the shake off ask her with making this thing into the only husky on the internet that's doing all this crap. Even then, everyone says, you're crazy. LOL. She then comes up with training that it's just to wear a straight jacket. The movements are very exaggerated even to the dog at this point. If you said they don't seem that exaggerated. To the dog, they do. <laughs> to the dog, they do. Towards me, I reward just that alone. If you said, what's my body English right now? Raggedy Ann. There is a Raggedy Ann body language. If you said, what is it? It's this. This is Raggedy Ann. She's holding a Raggedy Ann, and she just doesn't, there's no, oh. But then now she turned it into, oh. 
she turned me into the toy soldier. <laughs> By her action. I was raggedy again two effing seconds ago. <laughs> She's got two basic. <laughs> Boom. If you said you're rewarding it for coming off the ground. Claire, this is like your dream come true. And right when these people are bullying me and saying I don't know how to train. This is, these are tricky. I'm giving you guys every trick in the book of how to work with these. If you don't want, if you said, well, I'm going to get a prong collar and put it on her. That isn't going to work. And if you said, well, this dog was... This one girl, that one girl from England. Oh, the owner trained it. Oh, yeah, Mark's come up with some diabolical scheme to train this dog and then pay me to act like I did it. <laughs> so the dog moves in my direction. I reward just that. But then I... I... <laughs> Yeah, what her internal dialogue is. Oh, you want to make... I do that, Fenty Pants. That's what she's saying. I do that, Fenty Pants. I got way more moves than you, lady. I got all the right moves. So if I can... I move lateral. It starts to move with me. But if I want to turn towards her, I just... Ah! Driving with my feet, 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 feet. Pushing with my shoulder. Oh! Pulling with my other shoulder. <laughs> Twisting with my hips. <laughs> but my feet are planted right now. I'm not using the pager at all. It would be more crispy if I used the pager, but she knows all the moves. Oh, oh Molly, I'm sorry, but Jesus, I'm sorry. I can't even walk around freely without being tripped by you don't even know. You don't even see me shuffling around. You don't know the suffering I go through. I said, why does it remain stationary? Not because it's been taught to do that. So if you said still, what do you want? Again, to move laterally and get it moving with me. things to do. This is what I'm saying to the dog. I got other things to do. So do you. Anyway, the dog also has a trained retrieve. It doesn't go away. If he's, I haven't seen this dog for two years. It, it was never had a prong collar on. It had a pager from the time it was a puppy. Just the opening scene. I don't know if you saw that, Claire. You got, I gotta go find it. Show Claire. Uh, Baby Scarlet, the first day. Because Mark is one of these people that has 500 hobbies and every kind of, you know, camera equipment and makes, you know, practically movies better than Spielberg. <laughs> if you said since then, since then he's gotten better. But, you know, he had kind of edited everything in together. That's how we met. It was sending it to me. And then this is how the dog turned. It's, it's you know, it's a once in a lifetime dog, but it's a direct result of this collar. I never jerked it and said, don't do this and that. They started it on a pager very, very young. Always, I'm not going to go, hey, come here. No, no, no. If I can get it moving with me, I'm, I'm better off. All right, let me go grab some more of the cheese, though. If you said, what about the inexpensive chicken? No, she said, get the cheese. <laughs> she said, grab the Gouda.
with me. That's it. So if you're saying, just saying moving with me gets rewards. Oh, hi, Mark. He said, where was I? Oh, I was inside trying to find a water bottle. I remember we did train her with those dumbbells, but I couldn't use them. I mean, I did use them for a while, but I used different stuff. I'm going to get her picking up keys and Kleenexes and all that. But these are tricky. When people say they aren't, then they need to post their Husky videos because I've seen them and they're awful. And they go on and on saying, Huskies can't be off leash. No, it's Huskies can't do a trained retrieve is the old saying. So that's what they need to start saying to themselves. Huskies can't do a trained retrieve. <laughs> There's a girl in Poland or something that has one though. I've seen a couple, I have. But I'm always saying, let me get the dog moving. She was not originally platform trained. She's drooling over this cheese. You said Mark has done that with her. I doubt he has. But it's a trained retrieve, so it's not gonna go away. If you said, what is she saying to herself? Okay, but next time she goes, yeah, the good is good, but this is the public. Because I don't trust publics. I think it's just a mixture of American. If you said, how is a dog capable of that internal dialogue? That's the tricky part. <laughs> how does I'm keeping this arm tight though. If you're there, Elizabeth, this arm is tight. You're letting this arm get out and anything that's moving is gonna divide their brain. If this arm is tight and this arm appears to be saying going forward, you're better off. This arm is driving forward. <laughs> now, a good one. If you said, how many of pa these packages of these cheese does she eat a day? Oh, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Mark's like, uh oh. I remember that last time she was here, though. I had to get the cheese. That's why when I went, wherever it was, I was. I'm not here. I don't know the cheese was, but I'm going to get free. If you said the Gouda, yeah. I think I got the Gouda and something else. If you said, what about the, did you go for the, no, I didn't go for the domestic shit. I already knew. These Russian bastards, they don't go for that domestic cheese. <laughs> Mark's like, what? Anyway, if she wants to go out to the pond, so let me grab some shoes and I'll be back. And dog, then this cheese. Yep, it was drooling over that cheese, though. But my job from there would not say the dog's name to ask it to do something. I want you to understand. In my mind, that's what I'm doing. To ask it to move and stuff by using its name and close tight work. I'm burning up gas. But it's a delicate process and... You know, it doesn't, she sees me as just, you know, she's humoring me, Mark. I mean, it's, she's humoring all of this. It's, you know, she's easily saying, uh, it's like um, Call of the Wild. You gotta, I can run off and join a pack of coyotes to hell with these people. All of them. I'm gonna find my own food. I don't eat much. <laughs> I don't eat much. I'll tell you what I like, though, running and swimming. Now, as long as there's that, I'll be fine. <laughs> running, swimming, and I don't eat much. Yeah. I'm a gillows, whatever. Dogs don't get leprosy. I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me get some shoes on, and I'm going to take her to the pond. I'll be right back. <laughs> 